My pleasure to welcome you uh, to Nashville and to the Aftermarket Jam. Our role in this particular division is to bridge the gap between what we know is coming and what we know is there today. For you jobbers out there, in stock and delivered as promised is perhaps the best example of performance consistency. And for our service centers in the audience, fixed right the first time and on time is performance consistency. We had about, oh, 200 people taking a test every month. We are now every month cracking about 28, 2,900 people taking and passing tests every month. Auto Value Bumper Bear was one of the first to get involved uh, to actually build a data warehouse. We were three to four years ahead of anybody. There's a couple other guys that are, that are doing it now. Nobody's as far down the, the path as we are. And we really think we've got a really good one-two punch to get our name out there, and as I said earlier, to set ourselves apart in the community. The CSC of the convention is Mr. Jim Dykstra. When I look at the group that we belong to, we have the, the best support system and the network of friendships out there. It's unbelievable. for me to do things in a different way, to do things better. The ability to adapt your business to the market trends. More focused orientation on things. Help your employees uh, achieve what they'd like to achieve as well. How to advertise without spending a lot of money. Teamwork makes a successful company, and without teamwork, you don't have a successful company. most human moments. I'll give you an example, another human moment. I'm at my health spa, trying to get in the locker, cannot get in the locker, cannot get the lock open, cannot get in the locker, call the front desk, come out with the jaws of life, cut the lock open, guess what? Not my locker. <laughs> Would you call this a human moment? Here's my all-time favorite, paper or plastic, and I am not making this up. This man actually said this. He goes, paper or plastic? I go, surprise me! <laughs> and this elderly gentleman looks at me, he goes, I'm sorry ma'am, baggers can't be choosers. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot lighter now. This song has become known as that I, I Hate Her song. 
Did it end?